When you're on synthetic testosterone, they call it blasting. That means you're taking more than what you should be doing. They call it a blast. You're more aggressive. But when you're on my program, all natural, you don't have that side effect. You just feel good. Everything just feels good. Welcome to Pivoting Pharmacy with Nutrigenomics, part of the Pharmacy Podcast Network a must-have resource for pharmacist entrepreneurs seeking to enhance patient care while enjoying career and life. Join us as we pivot into nutrigenomics using pharmacy and nutrition for true patient-focused care. Explore how to improve chronic conditions rather than just manage them. Celebrate entrepreneurial triumphs and receive priceless advice. Align your values with a career that profoundly impacts patients. Together, we'll raise the script on health and pivot into a brighter future. Hello and welcome to Pivoting Pharmacy with Nutrigenomics. I'm Dr. Tamar Lawful, Doctor of Pharmacy and Certified Nutritional Genomics Specialist. In today's episode, we're tackling a common yet often undiscussed issue among men. Yes, today we are talking to the men and for the men, and that issue is low testosterone. You know, studies indicate that approximately 40% of men age 45 and older have clinically low levels of testosterone, which can impact everything from energy levels to mood and overall vitality. So today we have an amazing guest, Christopher Terzakos. Chris isn't just someone who talks about wellness, he's lived it through real hard experiences and triumphs. Chris has spent over 40 years in the construction industry, coached baseball teams to championships, and now he's sharing his journey in wellness and self-improvement as an entrepreneur, coach, and author. His books, including Hernia Without Surgery, Natural Testosterone After 60, and Belonging to Yourself, reflect his path from facing personal health challenges to discover powerful natural solutions. In his book, Natural Testosterone Over 60, Chris dives deep into how he tackled his low testosterone naturally, moving away from traditional medical solutions. His story isn't just about overcoming health issues, it's about using your mind as a powerful tool to transform your life. It's about not giving up, learning continuously, and growing. So Chris is here with us today, and he's going to share a little bit from his book with us so you can learn how he boosted his testosterone without relying on synthetic hormones. And he's also going to talk about his philosophy on self-love, making positive lifestyle changes, and the strength of human resilience. So if you're interested in not only improving your hormonal health, men, but also in learning how to age with vitality and purpose... Chris's insights are golden. Listen in. So Chris, thank you for joining us today on Pivoting Pharmacy with Nutrigenomics. I want to kick it off by just talking about where you started at to lead to where you are today on this new path. Can you tell us about that? Thank you for having me on your show. I'm I'm delighted to share my experience and my wisdom. So as a young guy growing up, I was always into fitness. I always uh, tried my best as a young guy to eat healthy. Now that I'm older, I, that's all I do is eat healthy. And I nearly became a baseball player. I was scouted by two teams, one in Atlanta, Georgia, and Cincinnati. I was a leader for all my life. I went into construction. I worked for a company for 18 years. I was the senior supervisor out of 300 employees. And um, I mentored people throughout my life. Now I'm semi-retired. I'll be 65 years old in October. I'm in the best shape I've probably ever been in my life. And it all bottoms down to what you put in your body. Absolutely. Thank you for that very brief background, of Chris. Okay. So you mentioned you were an athlete. You were being drafted, right, yes. for baseball. Yes. And so I'm sure that's been a big part of your life. How did that shape your approach to taking care of your health? Because if you weren't healthy, these athletes today, they're, they're 100% healthy. Otherwise, you can't make it. It just doesn't work. You know, you got to be healthy to be an athlete and then you got to be healthy to be a healthy person. So that's why I took the path of, you know what, stay healthy, stay away from the drugs, the drinking, all that stuff and just stay healthy. And I'll have a healthy mind, healthy body. And being an athlete, you have to be healthy. Yeah. So it starts there. So I'm I'm definitely, I'm sure that puts you on the right path to have that focus on health already. Now -hmm. you have several books, you're author of several books, one of them being uh, belonging to yourself. 
Yes. So that concept from your book, Belonging to Yourself, how does getting on good terms with oneself tie into better health, both in mind and body? Belonging to Yourself is a story about my, my life. It's a memoir. And throughout my life, I've always been healthy as far as food and everything, but I wasn't healthy on the outside, really, with people. I love people. I've always tried to help people. I love people before I loved myself. I started transformation years ago that I need to love myself first. And that's how I began my leadership. I started to love me first, and then I was able to lead people to the same path as myself. Chris, I love that. I know there is a reason I was drawn to you because my company is called Life Balance and I spell it L-Y-F-E. It's an acronym for love yourself first every day. Yeah, that's nice. So I completely am on board with what you're saying. It starts with us first. We have to put ourselves first, love ourselves first, appreciate ourselves first in order one to help others and to really succeed in anything we want to do in life. That's true. So that totally resonates with me. Thank you. Now, I want to dive into natural testosterone after 60. That is the name of one of your books as well. Now, your interest in natural testosterone boosters for those over 60 is fascinating. What actually sparked this passion? What happened was um, back in my early 50s, I started taking testosterone without a doctor's consent. I wanted to step up my game at the gym. And believe me, it does step up your game at the gym. You can increase body mass, your health, your mind, aggression. So I did go on testosterone without a supervision of a doctor. I went on it for about five years. And then uh, when I came off of it, I noticed another change. I felt depressed. I felt no ambition, no drive. So I said, you know, something's wrong. Something's really wrong with me. That's not me. I, I, I'm an outgoing guy. I'm a, you know, I'm a leader. I go to get a blood test and my testosterone level came back at 81. Now, just so your audience understands, 81 is like horrible. A man's testosterone should be between 300 and 600. So here I am at 81, a level, nanograms. And uh, the doctor says, you're a candidate for TRT, testosterone replacement therapy. Now, I know that testosterone replacing therapy is for the rest of your life. You know, so now you got to take shots every week. You got to donate blood every three months because it, it thickens your blood. Your red blood cells go up. You know, a lot of things. You can get a heart attack. You can get a stroke. You got to watch your prostate. You got to go to a doctor. Like I think it's every 30 days. You got to see your doctor. Um, so I knew that wasn't for me. That, that's not the life that I want. I, I want my freedom. So I said, I'm going to do this on my own. I'm going to figure out a program that's going to work, self-healing program. And I did a lot of research, a lot of reading, and I did a lot of testing on my own. Everything I did was all natural. So I started my program. And then on my program, I'm going to say about eight, nine months later, and it's in the book, by the way, the both tests are in the book. Now, after eight or nine months, I went back to the doctor, another holistic doctor, took a full exam again, and the reading of the level came back 648. Wow. So I said, wow, that's awesome. My wife was with me, and we were, like, really happy that I, my program worked. So as I'm driving back from the doctor, my wife says in, in my truck, she says, uh, I want you to write a book. I said, really? She says, write a book. Write a book. So these guys out there, you know, rather than going on TRT, let them see your book, let them hear you so you can help them, not educate them, just help them that there is another alternative than TRT. And that's what I did. I wrote the book. Wow, that's amazing. From levels in the 80 to naturally boosting your testosterone levels mm -hmm. to normal levels without replacement therapy. Now, I'm going to ask you, can you give us a little sneak peek into that book and yeah. maybe tell us some unexpected tips or strategies you found effective for boosting testosterone yeah. naturally? Yes, I'll be honored to do that. So there's your do's and then your don'ts. So things that you're supposed to do and things that you're not supposed to do. So let's go with the don'ts. First thing is you got to get off sugar. 
and I'll explain everything in detail. You got to get off the sugar, donuts, cookies, sugar in your coffee, Gatorades. You got to get, you got to dump it. And the reason for it is because sugar, it increases insulin. So when your insulin goes up, what happens? It shuts down your production of testosterone because insulin raises cortisol, insulin raises estrogen. So those two things that you don't want in your body, you don't want your cortisol levels to go up and you don't want your insulin levels to go up or your estrogen levels. So that just creates one big blockage from producing testosterone. Now, Chris, before yes. you move past the sugar aspect, yes. can you clarify how the impact of artificial sweeteners? I know a lot of people say, well, I'm not using actual sugar. Is that the same with the artificial sweeteners? Yeah. If you're going to use artificial sweeteners, you're better off using sweeteners. As far as I'm concerned, if you're going to drink Coca-Cola, don't buy a, a Diet Coke. <laughs> drink the drink the Coca-Cola. I agree. I say the same thing. Right. So don't fall for it. And by the way, when you go to the supermarket, everything that you see on the shelves is a lie. Everything. Low gluten, low salt, and people are falling for it. I shop at Whole Foods. I'm 100% organic. I don't fall for none of that stuff. For instance, olive oil, right? When you buy olive oil, look at the back of the label. If it comes from five different countries, put it back on the shelf. Olive oil is supposed to come from one destination, one place, either from Italy, Greece, uh, Morocco. When you see five, six different places, you're not really buying really true olive oil. But they sell it as, oh, look at, you know, organic, whatever it says on the label. Don't fall for it. So olive oil. One tip to increase testosterone is olive oil. I take a glass like this. I put two tablespoons of olive oil in the glass, shake it up, drink it. You don't have to do it seven days a week. Do it five days a week. You will increase your testosterone by 17% just by drinking authentic olive oil. So there's one of your tips. The other tip is natural sunlight, vitamin D. So powerful. You know, people, I think today, I think maybe 60% of the country, they're all vitamin D sufficient. They don't have it. I take 10,000 IUs five days a week, 10,000 IUs a day, which is equivalent to 30 minutes in the sun. So I don't depend on vitamins on my supplements like seven days a week, by the way. You know, I don't want tolerance to it. So I'm always like five days on, two days off on all supplements that I take. So if you can't get the vitamin D, you got to get on some supplement vitamin Ds. I go out in the sun. I walk my dog, you know, four or five times a day. Each time I walk him, I think I get about maybe 10 or 15 minutes of sun. But I still take the vitamin D, especially on a rainy day. Mm -hmm. I take the vitamin D. Organ meat. This is really big. Organ meat. Now, organ meat is liver, kidneys, bone marrow, all grass-fed, no antibiotics. If you can get on organ meat, your testosterone will increase by 37% on organ meat. I also recommend, you know, have a steak. By the way, it's all grass-fed. I, I don't eat regular steak with no antibiotics in or anything like that. So, um, yeah, if you can eat a steak once a week, I don't recommend steak every day, but a nice piece of lean meat, grass-fed, like I said, the organ meat, I eat it all the time. Healthy fats will definitely increase testosterone. What are healthy fats? Olive oil, avocado, omega-3, egg yolks. Really big to increase testosterone is egg yolks. Don't fall for, you know, people saying, oh, eggs are bad for you. You know, you'll get a heart attack, you clog your arteries. Don't believe in it. It's not true. Those are the foods that all of us should be eating today. You know what I do every morning? I fast, by the way. When you fast, my fasting goes between 14 and 16 hours. The first thing in the morning that I put in my body, I drink a glass of homemade olive vera. And I'll tell you why. On an empty stomach, it cleans your liver, detoxification, 
antioxidant, anti-aging, vitamin C, digestive health. Here's a good one. It protects the cells in your body. Homemade aloe vera is amazing for you. You ever heard of that before? Oh yeah, I'm from I'm Caribbean, I'm Jamaican, so we use aloe vera. <laughs> we oh, definitely okay. use it. <laughs> so you know about it. Okay, yes, good. Yes, yes, yes. 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 I, wow. I, I make it at home. I have a big one gallon jug. I cut up the aloe vera, put it all in the jug, two long stems. I wash it really good. I put, you know, my mountain water in there, put it in the refrigerator for a day. It has to sit so all the aloe vera drips into the water. Mm-hmm. And then when you're ready to drink your first glass out of a new batch, shake it up really good and then pour your glass. You see it's nice and thick and it's just so good for you. It's good for your eyesight too, by the way. Great tips. Great tips, Chris. Oh, so you. I hope everyone's taking notes because those are very key tips to boosting your testosterone naturally. And I love that you are pointing out the need for grass fed meats, the ones without yeah. the hormones, that's without true. the grains, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, that's the best quality uh, of meat to have for your health. Thank you for sharing those tips with us. Okay. And it's amazing how much they can boost our testosterone. All right. There are some supplements that I can recommend to your audience if you'd like me to share. Sure. Okay. So one of the supplements is called Tonkat Ali. What goes good with Tonkat Ali is the Fandogia Agrestis. This will support the testosterone levels. So once you increase your testosterone, the Fandogia will keep it the level where it should be. So those two supplements, they're all organic, they're all plant-based, no conventional medicine. Those two items are number one on the list for supplements. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Are you ready to dominate your weight loss journey and lead a healthier life? Hi, this is Dr. Tamar Lawful, Doctor of Pharmacy, and I'm here to empower you with an exclusive first-class event. Join me for an empowerment hour that elevates your approach to shedding pounds sustainably. Learn the powerful truths behind weight loss medications and master strategies for lasting success that go beyond the pills. Ready to elevate your well-being and confidently ace those results? Grab your spot now and bring a friend. It's your first move to better health, not just weight loss, but a life of balance and thriving. Go to the link in our show notes to join or just visit us at www.thelifebalance.com. That's www.thelyfebalance.com. See you there. Is there a reason, is there an actual correlation out there with taking the artificial testosterone that actually contributes to low testosterone eventually? Yeah, what it does is it shuts down your natural production. So while you're taking testosterone, the body speaks and the body says, oh, I don't have to produce testosterone because he's injecting it. So I can relax. I don't have to produce it. Mm-hmm. You know, just say it's like a metaphor. So the body shuts down. But what people don't know today, and I I know a lot of the young kids that are taking testosterone, they don't know what's going to happen later. Later, your body shuts down from producing testosterone. Now you got to find a way to increase the testosterone and get it back to increase on its own. So in the book, it states how the program works. So my testosterone level is still high today. It's higher than somebody my age. I think a 65-year-old man... A healthy 65-year-old man, his testosterone is probably around 450. A healthy guy, maybe 500. I'm above 600. A lot of the young guys, you know, they're playing sports, you know, in high school, they're taking testosterone, shooting up uh, steroids. I think the rate is like 23% now of the students in high school are all taking PEDs. Yeah, your body shuts down, and then your body, you know, you, you feel it. You, you, you just don't feel good. You, you really don't feel good. So that's why you... Us guys, you know, we need testosterone. Women need estrogen. We need testosterone. Yes. So once someone starts increasing their testosterone levels when they're naturally increasing them, what does their day-to-day life look like? What are what are they feeling now? Feel good. You feel you feel alive. You feel happy. 
your, your dopamines are good. You, you just feel good. You, you, you maintain yourself. You, you're happy. You're still exercising, which I recommend no, never to quit. You don't need to exercise two hours a day. 30 minutes is good. 45 minutes, even an hour is good. You just feel good. Everything just, you know, you just feel good. It's like a natural drug. It's like a natural high, you know? So especially when you're eating good, when you eat healthy, you got a healthy mind too. So, you know, everything goes hand in hand with one another. I didn't mention like pollution. Pollution, it suffers us because we have to suffer from uh, hormones. It, it affects hormones, even women too. It's pollution. So what do I mean by pollution? Radiation, Wi-Fi, microwaves, plastic toxins, you know, water, if you drink the water out of a plastic bottle, you got toxins. Your cell phone. There's one pollution that really not too many people talk about, not too many people know about it, is cremation, crematories. When a person gets cremated, you know how much toxins go in the air from the body? Your bodies carry a lot of toxins. So when they put you through cremation, who's breathing that toxin? We are, but no one's talking about it yet. Oh, interesting. Is there a difference between how someone feels when they're on the synthetic testosterone versus when they have boosted their testosterone levels naturally? When you're on synthetic testosterone, they call it blasting. When you blast, that means you're taking more than what you should be doing. They call it a blast. Microdose, you can microdose testosterone, which is, I think, uh, a one cc. But if you're blasting, that means you're taking two, three cc's like three, four days a week. Is it incredible? Yes, it's incredible. Do I recommend it? Absolutely not. Yeah, there is a difference. You feel more when you're on synthetics, you feel like um, more angry. Mm. You're more aggressive. But when you're on what I'm doing, my program, all natural, you don't have that side effect. You're not aggressive. No, you just feel good. Everything just feels good. But that synthetic stuff, let me tell you, it's powerful, very powerful. Interesting, because, yeah, that's what I heard about the synthetic testosterone is that these men, they they tend to be very aggressive. And, um, yeah, yeah, so I was curious to know naturally uh, yeah. what is. What yeah, so, so I'll give you an example. Like before uh, in my 50s, before I took any testosterone synthetic, like, for instance, I would bench press, say, um, 225, you know, around there, 240. When I started taking synthetic testosterone, I was bench pressing close to 400 pounds. Wow. It is incredible. No one needs to do that unless you're a bodybuilder and you're competing. I, I, I know that game also. But if, if you're a regular guy like me, you just want to be in shape, just follow the protocols eat healthy, get on some all natural supplements. You can find it on the internet. You can listen to this podcast. There's so many other ways to increase testosterone. You know, if you was to eat ginger, fresh organic ginger, one teaspoon of chopped up ginger is equivalent to four ounces of ginger. If you was to eat ginger five days a week, you'll increase your testosterone by 24%. Wow. Just with ginger... And, and the other natural things you mentioned as well. Like that's significant. That's significant. Right. And ginger not only increases testosterone, it's an anti-inflammatory. It increases the serotonins. It's good for gut health. If you feel nauseous, go eat ginger. You'll feel better in maybe 15 minutes. If you feel nauseous, go eat ginger. Right. Now, Chris, yeah. I have one last question for you. Sure. Reflecting on your journey and the people you've helped, what's a piece of advice that you can share with someone who's starting to explore natural healing and self-discovery. There's two words that I live by. One is dedication and discipline. If you have those two, you're on the path to success. Stay on the path of discipline and dedication and everything else will formulate for you. That's my wisdom to anyone, man, woman, just be dedicated, you know, just because somebody is eating a piece of cake don't mean you got to go run and get a piece of cake either. 
just stay on your program. Whatever your program is good for you, stay on the program. I love it. I love it, Chris. Thank you for those words of wisdom. I really enjoyed our conversation today. You shared so much for us with the audience, and I appreciate that. And again, uh, your book is called, you have three books. I see how to naturally raise testosterone, natural testosterone after 60, plenty of pearls. You've just given us a taste of it. I can only imagine what else is in your book. Thank you for sharing that with us. Thank you. (laughs) Okay. Thank you so much for having me on your show. Thank you. You're welcome. That's all I have for you today, friend. We hope you found Chris's journey and strategies for boosting testosterone naturally, both inspiring and informative. If you found this topic interesting, share with a friend and let us know on social media at Dr. Tamar Lawful or leave a five-star review wherever you listen to podcasts. Coming up next week on the show, we are continuing our discussion of the hormones, but with the woman as we address holistic therapies for all things menopause and sexual health. Talk to you next Friday. Until then, always remember to raise the script on health because together we can bring healthcare to higher levels.